Good evening, guys. Hello, Vladimir. Good. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just How was your day? Interesting. What about yours? Well, like you, interesting. Today was another fail. Oh, really? What happened? Yes, that's the way it is. Um, I guess it was an, um, a firewall okay. that is not that is not good configuration. That's, that has a good configuration. So, well, I researched some information about the, the version that actually is running has issues. Then you need to break the version of the firewall. Well, a lot of things to do and a lot of things to invest, investigate or research. Investigate, well. Investigate or research, I don't know. If you are going to look for information in another sources, is research. Ah, okay. Uh, yes. Investigate I need is if you are going to get exactly into the system, like to check the code. Uh, 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 research, because my my okay. role is is in, is research the information and pass to the administrator of the firewall. Okay, so you're gonna be busy. And yes, uh, we, we are waiting for the response of the of the far, fabricante, the builder, the company, the manufacturer. Uh, the manufacturing the company, company. Of the manufacturing, the, the manufacturing company of, the, of that firewall. Oh, and which one is it? Is it from from abroad? Is no, it's a fortunate. Abroad. The brand. Abroad means the brand extranjera. Ah, yes, yes. The brand of, uh, yes, yes. The brand of the firewall is fortunate. Oh, really? The, does it work? Yeah, the brand. Okay. Well, um, then. <laughs> Well, you you got little something to do, Mister. Yes, a lot of things like uh, every Monday. Sounds is news. Yeah, Mondays are like like that for everybody, you know. Mondays you always get like. I told you, I told you the last time when no news, good news. Well, yeah. <laughs> today, today there was was a news, news. Was a news right? <laughs> well. Yeah, that's, so it goes. That's the way it is, teacher. Yeah. And listen, Vladimir. And so it goes. Y así continúa. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> and so it goes. Yeah, you know, what else can we do? I mean, that's yeah, the nature, you, the nature you, of your job. Yes. Do, do you want to listen a joke? Yeah, Today was... It was another presentation with people from the guys, the government. Uh -huh. <laughs> it happens like the last time. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, it's complex because you want everything yes. to be ready. But the solution was at night, night of 05. And the presentation was at 10 30. okay so you were on time <laughs> yeah, yes we I, ran with the solution i think you and your company got a little trouble with mr morphy's laws <laughs> yes it's the same <laughs> yeah you got a little problem with mr morphy's laws. yes because what whatever bad thing could happen happens i don't know I guess are the golondrinos. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Those things happen. Those things happen. <laughs> well, interesting talking to you, Vladimir. Okay, nice. Alfonso, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you, mister? You home? Yes, in my home. One problem. I have a problem with uh, myself for calm. 
with my cell phone camera. Camera. Yes. I have a problem. No, no puedo poner ahorita la cámara. No worry, don't worry. We will be waiting for you, but it's good to have you here in class. Tell me, how was your day, Alfonso? My day is pretty well, teacher. Uh, a little tighter. Really? What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo este día? Me preguntó. ¿verdad? Yep, exactly. Okay. Um, for a moment in, in myself, for... ¿Cómo diría? Um, Estuvimos como muy relajados este día. Oh, really? You were relaxed? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very, very. Well, that's relaxed. good in a way. Yes. And returns on my house at 2 p.m. At 2 p.m.? Cool. Yes. Mm, más o menos. So, so. <laughs> That's actually great to be early at home. Yes. <laughs> and my... Um, what about? Well, on Sunday and weekend late, I had breakfast with my mom. Okay. I did two housework. I watched some movies. And Sunday I was checking some... Computers. Computers. Estuve, computers, sorry. Estuve revisando unas computadoras. My friends. Mm, that's nice. So you were busy the weekend. Sorry? You were busy the weekend. Estuvo ocupado. Yes. That's actually nothing more, good. Nothing more. Uh, no, no visit my son. Oh, yeah, you told me that. He went to the beach, right? Yes. Well, at least you had a little something to do. Al menos tuvo algo que hacer. Thank you very much, Alfonso. Nice yes. talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Sonia, hello. How are you? I think she's not here yet. Hello, hello. Hello, I'm sorry. Sonia. How are you? I'm fine. How was I'm your fine. day? Uh, a good day. I had a good day. Oh, excellent. What about the weekend? How was the painting? Yes. Oh. Uh, um, ¿Cómo es? Eh, que fue poco porque no habían terminado de limpiar todos los espacios. Okay. It was oh, <laughs> so It was not complete. Uh, no. Because the spaces the spaces were not clean or the well actually what you're talking about is the surface la superficies the surface ¿Sí? the surface were not surface. clean yes okay they were not clean oh uh, that's a problem uh, <laughs> so you didn't do that much then no pasó tan ocupada. What else did you do in the weekend? Tell me. Um, I am cleaning my house. Okay. Um, I go to the supermarket. I went. Uh, ¿Cómo es? Went. In past. I cleaned. I ah, went. Uh -huh. I went. To the supermarket and lo que ya le dije um, como I wa como era lavar ropa I, I did the laundry I did es I did the laundry, yes. the laundry. Um, I watch TV I watch TV remember uh -huh, I watch TV perfect I watch the TV. Um, only that. <laughs> Just that. So. Yeah. You had an I'm an sure. easy weekend. Yeah. Por fin. Como es por fin. Finally. <laughs> ya era hora de tener algo. Finally. Mm -hmm. 
Finally. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you yeah, didn't have really the that. kills. That's why. No tuvo los chicos. Exactly. That's the reason. <laughs> so you have peace. Yes. That's cool. Once on a while. Sin, uh, como es sin algo, para decir que no hubo algo. Sin tareas, por ejemplo. Es que tareas, without, favor, pero sin tareas. Without. Without. Yes, without. Uh, without homework. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I can imagine. Once on a while, okay. it is good. Yes. Once on a while, it's Cuando good. están y cuando no están, soy muy feliz. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Once on a while mm -hmm. means eh, de vez en cuando, una vez al tiempo. Mm -hmm. uh, Once on a while. Eso es una vez al tiempo. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the best thing. Once in a while. Yeah. Once in a while is good, I mean, to change the routine. Yes. To have something different. Well, thank you, Sonia. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Mr. Ruiz, hello. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? I'm fine, but... Uh... Tired? Slightly stressful. I'm sorry? Uh, slightly stressful. Oh, slightly stressed. Slightly stressed. Yeah, yeah, slightly stressed. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it's Monday. Mondays are difficult for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, the same happens to Vladimir. Monday, everybody gets bad news. A lot of situations happening so your day was heavy i can imagine yeah very very heavy what time did you finish working today walter uh, five o'clock so when the time comes you finish yeah i roam okay mm -hmm. and could you finish all your assignments during the day yeah i finish all maybe i doesn't remember more I don't. I don't. I don't remember. Well, that's cool. Uh, I finish all. That's good. It's always good when we are able to finish all the activities assigned. I mean, you at least feel like relax. Like the day comes and you see that. I mean, even if the day was stressful, when you finish, you are like, okay, I finish. That's yeah. it. Yeah, but in your job, I mean, you go home, but you're still on the phone, checking information and stuff like that, right? Yes. So, yes may, maybe I review my phone. Well, I check my phone for a time in a wall, you know, for per, hours. Per hour. For hours. Oh, my. So you still keep on working? Sorry? Okay. I told you, you still keep on work working keep on working aún sigue trabajando yeah yeah even if it's not in the office yeah yeah the same happened to to vladimir they gave him a cell phone just for that <laughs> yes. yeah that's bad news when they give you a cell phone from your job I mean, that yeah. means they're going to get you like on a hold. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> Actually, I'm texting with the uh, provider. Provider? It? With the provider about the, the, the problem. That happens in the morning. Yeah, the same happens to Walter. Sometimes I see him that he's in the class and he's also helping his co-workers working actually. Right, Walter? Yeah. So, I mean... That's normal. That happens to all of us nowadays. Hoy en día nos pasa todo. Oh, interesting. Thank you very much, Walter. Welcome to the class. Mr. Luis Leiva. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, mister? Um, well, uh, I have a good day. Oh, because really? On the, because on this moment, I have a problem with my video camera. I can't start... Um, yeah, the, the same happens to Alfonso. 
no sé qué pasa. But uh, I have a, a good day. On the morning, day? I, yeah. I, in the morning, um, uh, I have a, I had a, a review or check a report. Uh -huh. After after um, um, I had a meeting with my boss um, around two one old and in the in the in the afternoon and i had a, a meeting with a cfi of anda oh it's centro de formación integral de anda so um, you were busy estuvo ocupado yes yes usually Oh, okay. But, but uh, I, I, I feel good. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. That's, I mean, we always ha need to have a good attitude. Bueno, mantener yes. una buena attitude. Otherwise, we get yes. stressed. Yes. Well, it's good to have you here in class, Luis. Sorry? It's good to have you here in class. Thank you. Okay. Es bueno tenerlo en clase. Gracias. Okay. Thank you, okay, teacher. Okay, no, thanks to you. I, I, voy a tratar de, de, de recuperar la, la, la videocámara, a ver si yeah. la puedo conectar. No problem, no problem. We'll be waiting for you. Lo esperamos. Thank you. Yeah, because nobody wants to connect the camera today. Nadie me quiere conectar la cámara hoy. <laughs> teacher. Yes, Sonia. Tampoco la puedo conectar. Estoy oh, desde sí. mi celular. Porque eh, no sé qué pasa aquí con la computadora que no se conecta con, con el internet. Pues yo me conecté aquí, pero no la puedo activar tampoco. Maybe it was an update. Yeah, well, no sé qué pasa. Perhaps it's the, 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 the web. Quizás es la red. If the... No. Mm, el ancho de banda. Pero ya le di a las configuraciones y todo. Y dice que todo permitir, pero no, no me deja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mi, proble mi problema es distinto, okay. teacher, porque yo utilizo una aplicación al teléfono y una aplicación a la computadora uh -huh. para poder transmitir con la cámara del celular. Oh, yes, I know what you mean. Sí, sé lo que dice. Those apps, sometimes they get like. Yeah. Entonces, ay. Ahí mi problema, entonces no sé si tengo que actualizar alguna de las dos apps o revisar configuraciones. Well, once I have to uninstall and reinstall. A mí me tocó ah. una vez desinstalar y volver a instalar. Yes. Hey, well. <laughs> thank you, mister. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Arvin, hello, Arvin. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you, mister? Um, good. Uh, I felt good. Um, my day was uh, sometimes tired. Oh, really? Yes. Many activities to do today? Yes, it's a good day to start the week. Oh, that's um, a good attitude. Excellent. Yes. Now I have a new staff and uh, it's hard to explain. Okay, so... Well, it's but, good when you keep busy. Es bueno mantenerse ocupado. Yes, but it's uh, been a good day. Excellent, excellent. Congratulations. It's good to have you here. And tell me, Arvin, how was the weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? Um, tired and work. Oh, you had to work the weekend? Yes, um, I work in Don Pollo. Oh, I work at? At Don Pollo. Okay. Um, y ahí, ahí no, no se descansa en los when's, domingos. When's your day off? Uh, yes, yes. When, when is your day off? ¿Cuándo es tu día libre? Um, ¿Cómo se dice entre semana? Uh, on weekdays. On weekend. Sí, se me había olvidado share esta palabra. On weekend. Weekdays, no, weekdays. Weekdays, yes. Weekdays. Esa es la palabra. 
Weekdays. Yes, uh, yes. Um, nos programamos el día libre entre la semana on weekdays. Okay. Well, that's good. Who couldn't get into it? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Arvin. It was interesting. It was interesting. Yes, yeah. teacher. I think everybody's having problems with the connection today. Thank you, Arvin. Welcome to the class. Okay. Evelyn, hello. How are you? How are you, teacher? I am fine. I am fine. Oh, you got the camera. That's excellent. That's excellent. <laughs> How was your day, Evelyn? Uh, thanks, Akargo. Um, this day, busy, but the computer Re restart. No sé cómo se dice. Re se ha reiniciado muchas veces. Oh, the computer. Yes. Restart. Restart. Nah. Uh, very, very times. Uh, uh, ¿Cómo puedo decir? Ha retrasado muchas cosas, pues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's it delays. Actually, that's the word delay. It delays. Delay. Oh yeah, yeah. This yeah, word is um the delay. Delay. Um, yeah. Yeah. The the connection to the computers, man. Believe me, I've been there. Today it took me twenty minutes to log in. Tarde 20 minutos solo en cargar en all everything that I use because I don't know what's wrong. I think the, 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 the I think final or something is giving me problems, but don't worry, Evelyn. Right now we are in the class, so we are going to have fun, relax a little bit, disconnect of everything, okay? Okay. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Thank you. Susana, hello, Susana. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. I am fine, Susana. Great. How was your day? Okay, the day was relaxed, very relaxed. Okay, and relaxed. Did you have yeah. uh, Did you have a home office or did you go to the office? I have home office. That's cool. Yes, only oh. hot. Yeah, it's been hot all only day that. long. Yes, only that. It's been hot all day long. Yes. Yeah, for sleeping at night, it's terrible. Ah, oh, yeah. You need to Calor have... Y zancudos, ¿cómo se dicen los zancudos? Mosquitos. Ah, mosquitos. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but anyway, that's the way it is, Susana. We need to keep on. Yes. Continuar. Así toca. Thank you very much, Susana. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Edwin, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, mister. How was your day? A uh, uh, bored day. Bored day. A good day? No, bored day. Bored day. Boring day. Why? Why? Tell me. Why was it boring today? No more work. No much work to do? Yeah. No much no work. Mm, that's interesting. <laughs> that's interesting because usually Mondays are difficult. Usually. Yeah, usually Mondays uh, are difficult. Yeah. But in your case, it was like not that much yeah. to do today. No. <laughs> What time did you finish working today? My weekend was deciding. What did you do in the weekend? Oh, you went to play paintball. paintball. Yeah, you told uh, me you went to play. I, fin I finished sometimes sore. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. A little bit sore. Un poco. sore. A little bit sore. A little bit sore. Yeah, I can imagine. Those things hurt. Ah, cosa uh, Piernas, ¿cómo es? The legs. My legs. Oh. 
Ma. Unos cuantos impactos. <laughs> but you were wearing a helmet. Yeah. Okay, that's, eh, what about Google? Voy a decir en español porque no, no sé cómo se dice todo. Eh, es obligación tener la careta y en, okay. la, en la zona no, no se la puede quitar uno. Face mask. Face mask. Yep. No, no se la puede ni levantar ni para respirar. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, you need, you use, you wear, actually se pone uno, a face mask. Uh, some people got braced plate. El chaleco. Yeah, that's the breast plate. Breast plate. Uh, helmet. Casco. Helmet, no. Ah, helmet. Yes. Okay. <laughs> And some, some people you wear a good... Solo careta. Some people wear Googles. Algunas personas usan Googles. Yeah. Googles. What else? Gloves? 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 No. You don't use gloves. Some people wear gloves. What else? What else? What else? Uh, what about knee pads? Rodilleras? Ah, yeah. Knee pads. Boots. Yes. Boots also. Boots. Yeah, those are very important. So did you win or lose? Sorry? Did you win or lose? Ganó o perdió? Digamos que fue empate. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Todos, todos terminamos con un tiro en la careta, en la, varios en las piernas. Okay, so look. It was a tie. It was a tie. Tie means corbata, but when we are talking about games, it means empate. It was a tie. Yeah, it was yeah. a tie. Well, interesting. Thank you very much, Edwin. Thanks, teacher. Let's see, let's see. Thanks to all of you. Let's see, there's Walter Arana, there's Mauricio, there's Ivania. Ivani is on her way home, I think. Let's see, guys, I need to take the attendance. So if you can, if you are, if you can uh, activate your cameras for the attendance, I will be very grateful. And I'm going to take the attendance as soon as this thing logs in. Just give me a second. Man, the system is terrible, the connections today. Okay, let's see, let's see. I'm going to take the attendance, right? Mister, yes, Mr. Sorry. Elizabeth. That's right that she can't uh, come into the class. As written, she has texted. Let's see, let's see, just let me check. Okay, let's. I'm going to report right now. Vamos a reportarlo en este momento. Just let me, let me make the report. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, the report is ready. Okay, let's see, Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe, Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Daisy Elizabeth Zelaya, she's trying to get in. We're going to wait for her. Let's see. Uh, Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivani Elizabeth Rodriguez Ramos. Present teacher. Karen Lizeth García Rodriguez. 
Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. I saw Mauricio around. Por aquí anda Mauricio. Eh, Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Okie dokie. Let's check it out. Let's see. Well, today we are going to talk. Uh, today we are going to talk about the present continuous. Okay, the present continuous is like uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm, present continuous. We use it when we want to express situations that are like happening in the moment we say them. But let's watch a little, a small presentation that I prepared for you, so you can check it out. Okay a little bit more, uh, a more detailed presentation, okay? After the class, I will share the presentation with you. Después de la clase se las comparto, okay? So let me check it out. Okay, let's see. The present continuous. Well, the present continuous is made from the present tense of the verb be and the ing form of a verb. Yes. Just, just okay, okay. okay, we made it from the present tense of the verb be and the ing form of a verb. What's that? That's very simple, something pretty simple, okay? We got the subject, the auxiliary, the verb be becomes an auxiliary, okay? In this case, the verb be when it's working as an auxiliary for the present continuous or the present progressive is the same. In this case, we use just the meaning estar, okay? Just that. I am talking, I am eating, I am learning, I am doing, I am going, okay? He is talking, she is eating, it is learning, he is doing, you see? We use, again, the subject, you, we, and they, we know that they use are, and again, the verb in ing. So I repeat, we got the subject, the auxiliary, the auxiliary is the verb be, and the main verb, we add ing to the verb. Y el verbo principal le agregamos el ing, okay? As simple as that. Now, we use the present continuous to talk about activities at the moment of speaking. I am just leaving work. I'll be home in an hour. Please be quiet. The children are sleeping. Okay, we are going to make a little pause here. Okay, this is like this, like uh, Evelyn right now is touching her forehead. Okay, Evelyn is touching her forehead. Okay, uh, Vladimir is uh, screwing his eyes. You see? My Walter, eyes are tired. Yeah, I can imagine. Walter Arana is putting his hand on his face, right? Edwin is listening and watching to the class. You see, those actions are happening exactly in this moment. I am talking to you. I am watching all of you. I am explaining a grammar point, right? Those situations are happening exactly in this moment, okay? Let's go back to the examples. Oh, 
Okay, we see here. Activities at the moment of speaking. Remember, I'm just leaving work. Voy saliendo de trabajar. I'll be home in an hour. Okay. I'm just leaving work. I'll be home in an hour. Please be quiet. The children are sleeping. Now, look at something. Usually, when they give us examples, normalmente cuando nos dan ejemplo, they just tell us, I'm just leaving work, just the structure. But remember that tenses, they never go alone. Los tiempos realmente nunca van solos. I mean, you don't say the sentences like isolated. No decimos las oraciones como solita, aislada. So look at this. I'm just leaving work. Voy saliendo a trabajar. I'll be home in an hour. This is like this. Like imagine that, uh, imagine that Vladimir, he needs to go get his wife. Okay, he go gets his wife. And Vladimir, what time do you finish working, Vladimir? Uh, every day at 4.30. At 4.30? Yes. Uh, okay, and did you go get your wife? Uh, well, it's, 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 si eso sucede, if, if it that, happens. If that happens. If, if that happens, I... I stay, at, I stay at work and I check out at 7 and 30. Okay. So, did you let her know when you go pick her up? ¿Le avisa usted cuando sale usted por ella? No, al revés. What do you say? Oh, she lets you know. She talks to me. Okay, yes. she, she tells you, okay, I'm just finishing. Ella le dice, mm. Estoy terminando. Voy de salida, right? Something right. like that. Something yes, along yes. those lines. Algo parecido. So, thank you, Vladimir. So, if you notice, she tells him, hey, I'm just finishing. Voy terminando. I'm just leaving. Voy saliendo. Those situations are, like, not isolated. She goes, like, hey, I'm just leaving. You can come pick me up. Puedes venir por mí, le dice ella. Right? So, if you notice, I use one sentence in present continuous and one sentence in simple present, right? I'm just finishing. Estoy terminando. You can come pick me up. Puedes venir a recogerme. It's important at this level that you remember. When you try to make examples, don't think about the tenses. No piense en los tiempos verbales. Just like one tense completely because when we are having a conversation cuando nosotros estamos teniendo una conversación we use different tenses listen to what i just said escuchen lo que acabo de decir when we are having a conversation cuando nosotros are having estamos teniendo a conversation una conversación we use ahora pasé al simple present we use different tenses Utilizamos diferentes tiempos. So, it's always better if you think about the sentences that you try to create as in a context. That way, you, you communicate better. But let's go back to the presentation. Regresemos a la presentación. Okay, we are here. But we also use this present continuous or present progressive when we want to talk about future plans or arrangements. Listen up. Future plans or arrangements. Mary is going to a new school next term. What are you doing next week? Okay, look at this question. What are you doing next week? We are talking about something that is going to happen in the future. We use, uh, I will explain something here. In English, well, in all, in all languages, when we express future, there are different types of futures. I, different tipos de futuro, okay? The future, like the future with the auxiliary will, como el futuro con el auxiliar will. That's something that is not quite certain. Eso es algo que no está mm, 
tan probable. It could happen or it could not. Podría pasar o podría no. Ok. We also express future with the be going to. Like I say, mm, it is going to rain tonight. Va a llover ahora. It's cloudy. It's windy. Está nublado. Hace viento. I feel it. I can, I can wash it. Okay. When I make a prediction about the future based on what I can see, cuando una predicción futura basada en lo que puedo ver, I use be going to. Usually we use will for making predictions. Normalmente utilizamos el will cuando hacemos una predicción, but not a prediction about something that we can see. Pero no cuando son predicciones de lo que podemos ver. Now, when we use the present continuous for expressing future, cuando utilizamos el presente continuo para expresar futuro, we are talking about, and remember, I just told you, future plans or arrangements. Un plan futuro o algo que ya tenemos organizado. Oh, that's something like more like in our workplace, ¿no? En nuestros lugares de trabajo pasa eso. We use the future, but, but we are talking about plans. Things that are set, arranged planes, cosas que ya están organizadas, right? Like, let's see. Hold on, just give me a second. They are reporting something about Daisy. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, just let me get her in contact with the guy who's going to help her. My gosh, to be doing these different things is complex for me. Perfect. Okay, okay. Let's see. So, I was telling you that we use it when we talk about arrangements or something that we have like... Um, uh, like plan already. Like, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is Susana? Susana, hello. Hi. Tell me, Susana, when are you going to the office this week? Uh, I go to the office tomorrow. I am going to the office tomorrow. I am going to the office tomorrow. Okay, perfect. If you see, I am going to the office tomorrow. She's using the present continuous to express a future plan. Okay? A future plan. Now, Walter Arana. Hello, mister. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Walter, when is your, when is your family coming to El Salvador? Mm. My family is coming. Uh, is coming. My family. Yes. In June. Okay. My family is coming in June. You see? Okay. Right now we are in March. So it's in the future. It's already planned because they know that when the kids get vacation, they're coming back to visit him, right? All right. So that's a plan. They have it like said. It's a plan, it's algo que está arreglado, right? All right. Thank you, Walter. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, it's like, hey, Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Ya, ya lo logré. <laughs> cool. Sonia, you are having, yes. you are having a one-on-one -on -one session with me tonight, right? I don't remember. The 10 minutes. Okay, just... Okay. Listen to what I just told you. 
Give me just a second. Oh my gosh. Hmm. This is G9, yes, I think so. Let me, oh my gosh, no. Yes, G9C. Okay. I need to share this with Jason so he can help her. Okay, okay. Sorry, guys. But that's part of my obligation when somebody cannot connect to try to get them in touch with the support. So, as I was telling you, we use it to express future plans, arrangements. I, and I am like focusing in this because that's actually what we are going to work with in this class. We're going to be, we are going to be working with future plans, arrangements. That's how we are going to be applying using the, the, the present continuous, I'm sorry. So let's continue with the presentation. Okay, let's see. Now, questions, the structure. When we want to make questions, we put M, is, or R in front of the subject. So look, so the auxiliary, the subject, the verb in ING, and the question mark. In this case, are you listening? Are they coming to your party? You see, auxiliary subject, the verb in ing form, the complement, and the question mark. When is she going home? Again, look, auxiliary, subject, verb in ing, complement, question mark. In this case, this is a WH question. This is a WH question. And remember that WH questions, they always go before the structure. As WH questions siempre van antes de la estructura. Okay? So the structure starts right here. What am I doing here? That's another example. What am I doing here? Now, present continuous negatives. We make negatives by putting not or an apostrophe T after am, is, or are. I'm not doing that. Look, I'm not doing that you aren't listening or you're not listening they aren't coming to the party or they're not coming to the party she isn't going home until monday or she's not going home until monday now i want to explain something little something here Ahora le voy a explicar algo chiquito acá. we have two contractions right Tenemos dos maneras de, contra, de crear la contracción. The first, in this one, they aren't coming to the party. Cuando contractamos el verbo con la negación, lo que estamos enfatizando es la negación de la acción. El punto importante es esto. Lo que estamos resaltando es que se niega la acción. They aren't coming. Ellos no vendrán. Okay, now when we do it the other way, cuando lo hacemos de la otra manera, they are not coming to the party. What we are focusing is in this. Aquí nos estamos enfocando en ellos. Okay, what's more important here is the subject. Acá lo más importante es el sujeto. Here is the action. Okay. Here is the subject. But this is something that you will like understand better with a little bit more progress and practice. Eso es algo que le va a quedar más claro con la práctica. Don't worry right now about this. No nos preocupemos tanto en eso. So let's see. Hello. 
Hey, Elizabeth, you could get in. That's excellent. Hola, teacher. Finally. Good evening. Good evening. Al fin pudo. Sí. Pero no sé por qué me daba ese problema. No me cargaba y no me tiraba donde tenía que colocar mi código el segundo. Ok, but you could do it. That's what matters. Lo que importa es que ya está acá. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Any question about the, the grammar explanation I just gave? ¿Alguna pregunta con explicación gramatical? Guys, hello. No? No, teacher. Perfect. Yo sí quisiera que vuelva a explicar desde el principio. <laughs> okay. A mí me sacó un momento cuando inició la presentación eso y hasta que me pude conectar así. Así que no sé si es que me, de qué me perdí. Ok, let's see, let's see. I will make it short. Lo vamos a resumir. Present okay. continuous. Expresses. El presente continuo nos expresa. An action that is happening in the moment we are saying it. Una acción que sucede en el momento que la decimos. Ok. Or a future plan or a future arrangement, o un plan futuro, o algo que ya hemos organizado, ¿ok? How do we I make the difference? ¿Cómo hago la diferencia cuando es uno, cuando es el otro? Time expression. Like, let's see, who's going to help me? Let's see, let's see. Sonia, you help me. Yes. What are you doing right now? What are you doing? Yeah, ¿qué estás haciendo? Yes. I'm in class. Uh, what are you doing in the class? Listening to the class, paying attention to the class, writing. Paying attention to okay. the class. Okay. She's the paying talk. attention to the class. Okay. That's happening in this moment. Now listen, Sonia. What are you doing tomorrow morning? Um, check the emails. Okay. I am, checking. I am checking emails. I'm Thank checking. you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Notaron la diferencia en las dos preguntas que hice? In the first one, I asked her, what are you doing right now? ¿Qué está haciendo en este momento? The mm -hmm. time expression told me that it was now. La expresión de tiempo me dijo que era en este momento. Okay. In the second one, I asked her, what are you doing tomorrow morning? Mañana por la mañana. So, in that situation, I had the time expression was in the future, right? La time expression me refirió inmediatamente al futuro. Like, do you remember the question that I made, Mr. Arana? Yo le pregunté a Mr. Arana, eh, is your, when is your family coming to visit you? And he told me, oh, my family is coming on, no, in June, right? Y él me dijo, mi familia is coming in June. Ok, nosotros usamos alguna... Mm. Vendrá, quizás. Uh, I mean, that would be the closest for us in Spanish. Vendrá. It's not va a venir because that's present continuous. That's a future with be going to. Eso es el futuro con el be going to. But remember, if we want to express a plan, a future plan or an arrangement, we use present continuous. Ahora sí, Evelyn. Yes? Okay. Now, I repeat the structure. Remember, the verb be becomes an auxiliary. El verbo ser el estar se volvió un auxiliar. We use the verb be, we know that for us who speak Spanish, para nosotros que hablamos español, the verb be has two meanings. El verbo ser o estar tiene dos significados, right? Ser o estar. Simple. But when it's working as an auxiliary for the present continuous, cuando funciona como auxiliar para el presente continuo, the verb be, we just use the meaning estar. El significado que utilizamos es estar. And remember that the ing ending, el ing, 
que le ponemos al verbo, si le ponemos el ing a un verbo después del verbo cero, en es, cero estar, ese verbo se entiende con la terminación ando, endo. Voy a explicárselo de otra manera porque ya había un par de caritas así de, mm, ¿qué dijo? It's simple, it's very simple. Pay attention, just give me a second. Ok. I am explaining the topic. Oops, my bad. I said I'm sorry. I am explaining the topic. Ok, look at it. Veamos. When I have, cuando yo tengo, I and you with the main verb, con el verbo principal, and I have the verb be right before, tengo el verbo cero estar, antes de otro verbo, y ese otro verbo termina, le he agregado el ing, this, esto que está aquí, becomes ando or endo yo estoy explicando me imagino que ustedes están entendiendo ok is it clear now hoy sí ok that's that's the ing But remember, that's the ing if we have the verb be before. Recordemos que eso es el ing si tiene el verbo ser o estar antes. ¿Ok? Si tiene una preposición, no lo es. Yo les he estado explicando varias veces que si pongo un verbo después de on, o después de for, o después de by, o en el caso de los verbos start, se los he dicho, ¿verdad? Le ponemos un verbo, le ponemos ing, pero se entiende en su forma simple. Pero si ese verbo en ing lo ponemos después del estar de am, is, o are. Así es simple. Si después de am, is, o are, usted pone otro verbo y le pone ing, it's ando, endo. It's a situation that is happening. ¿Ok? Es algo que está sucediendo. Like right now I am talking. ¿Ok? I am making gestures. Estoy haciendo ademanes. Ok. I am making gestures right now. You are listening. Ustedes están escuchando. And that's actually the way we use it in Spanish. Y realmente así lo usamos en español. I am listening. Yo estoy escuchando. Because we don't say yo estoy escucho. Right? Pues ahí, yo estoy escuchando. As simple as that. Questions? Preguntas? Tell me, tell me. La idea es que quede claro, si no me pinto lo que sea. But the idea is to have it clear, ¿ok? Is it clear, guys? ¿Estamos claros? Sure. Yes. Ok, let's continue, let's continue. Ya vamos a ver si es cierto. Ok, Evelyn, open up your microphone, please. Okay. Okay, tell me, what are you doing tomorrow afternoon? In the afternoon, I I have a meet to meet a meeting? with my boss. Oh, really? A meeting with my boss. Really? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. Vladimir, what about you? What are you doing tomorrow in the afternoon? You mean? What Hello, are, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. What are am I doing tomorrow after the afternoon? Yes. Well, maybe taking a cup of coffee. I don't know. Okay. I'm taking a cup of coffee. Okay. I guess. Uh, and you don't have meetings nor nothing special? I don't know, teacher. No idea yet. No, no idea. That's, of course. Okay. Eso ocurre así. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 
the, sometimes in your case, the situations are for tissues. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to have a meeting. Okay. I am going to have a meeting. Or I am having a meeting. I am having a meeting. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, where's Arvin? Arvin. Hello, Arvin. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Arvin, what are you doing tomorrow morning? Um, I I go. I am to going. Work. I am going to work. I am going to work in the morning. Um, and every day. As every day, como todos los días. As. As. As every day. As yes. every day. Cool. Excellent. Thank you very much, Arvin. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, the question, the question is, what are you doing tomorrow? This is the question. That question, you are going to ask it to each other, and you need at least two sentences from your classmates. Sus compañeros le tienen que dar por lo menos dos oraciones. Okay? So be thinking about what you are going to tell your classmates. Piense que les va a contestar a sus compañeros. Meanwhile, I create the group. Mientras yo preparo los grupos. Okie dokie. Let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ivania, you home already? Not even here now. No, ya la perdí. Okay. Before I start that, antes de comenzar con ello, I need to get the attendance again. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Tell me, uh, present teacher. Thank you, Alfonso. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina Villalta, absent. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López, absent. Daisy Elizabeth Zelaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Uh, Karen Lisette García Rodríguez. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Oscar Arnold, Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monje. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Thank you. Sonia Mabel Azo González. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Siraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Okay, guys. Groups are created. Please jump in. Ay, menos mal que vino. Tengo una pregunta. Oh, I'm gone then. Ah, pues me voy. No. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. Va. Um, 
it's correct uh, say I'm going to do a report or I'm going to make Uy. okay first report. off la pregunta es is it is it is, ah, is it correct is it, to say is it correct to say uh -huh. I'm is going to do to say report? I'm going to do a report or I'm going to do to make a report Okay, I'm going to do a report. It's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me just, okay, let me see. Alguien me acaba de entrar y no se me ubicó en grupo. Oh, it's with you, actually. What group is this? Mm. Oh, it's this one. Okay. I'm going to do a report to you right now. I'm going to make a report for you in this moment. La diferencia es tiene que ver con realizar. Ok. Esto es mañana en la mañana. In the morning. morning. Yes, I am going to make a report for you tomorrow morning. Just let me see that. Eh, entonces make es correcto, no do. I'm going to make a report for you tomorrow morning. ¿Usted va a crear el reporte o va a llegar en persona a dárselo? No, yo lo voy a, gener yo lo voy a generar, yo voy a sacar do. datos y lo voy a realizar. Do. Do. Y make, ¿cómo sería? Ok, Sonia. The report of this day is as follows. Sandra came late today for the class. Susana was a little bit early. Ahora sí me entiende. I am making no. a report to you. En este momento le estoy dando el reporte. Okay. Okay. Sonia, I will do the report for you and I will send it. Le voy a hacer el reporte y se lo envío. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Entonces, yeah, tú. I'm going yeah. to do. Okay. And yeah. yes, you Thank are you. staying with me tonight. Ten minutes. Okay. Hay cualquier cosita le pregunto. Perfect. See you, ladies. Walter, my friend, they always leave you alone. Siempre me lo dejan solo. I think Luis has problems. Ah, you don't have activated your microphone. Okay. You Eso got, le, le iba a decir que estaba solo. <laughs> you got your sentences ready? Tiene sus oraciones? Yes, teacher. Uh, I am going to make superior payment tomorrow. Okay. Pero lo voy a mover a un grupito. Ok. okay. Teacher. Hello. Hello, Alfonso. There's Walter with you. Aquí le mandé a Walter. Four minutes, four minutes. I'm sorry, but uh, your classmates, <laughs> I think they have problems. Creo que este grupo tuvieron problemas. Because you oh. have a uh, Walter Ruiz in este grupo, also Mauricio. So there so were three. Forever alone, teacher. Uh, <laughs> no things happen, don't worry. <laughs> but there's Walter with you here right now. You can work with him. Just a Walter aquí con usted. Okay, very good. Thank you, teacher. Teacher. Oh, I'm gone then. Si es para pregunta, me voy. Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> Este, and his question, he will take no, classes. He is taking, he is taking. taking. Recuérdense, estamos expresando futuro, pero sin el will. No vamos a usar el will. Estamos usando he is taking he's classes. Taking, uh, classes with your daughter, with, como en tercera persona. Ok. Uh, sería with my daughter. Ok, lo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. ¿Qué rollo el que me ha hecho acá? Oh. Ok, las está diciendo como que alguien más va a decir su oración. Ya, yeah. right? aunque okay. yo tendría que decir, I am taking classes. Vale, 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 ok, está bien la oración, solo que preste atención a lo que está diciendo. ¿Con, qui, con la hija de quién va a tener clases? My, my daughter. Ok, entonces, he's taking classes with his daughter. Porque ahí me ha puesto her, su de ella. Sí, sí. Es. Okay. 
Oh, me he confundido. Ok. Arvin, I am going to work tomorrow like every day. Ok. Ok. Remember, am, is, are. He is going. He is going, Edwin. What? Ah, is. Sorry, sorry. Don't forget the verb B. Yes, Todo me las he comido, teacher. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't ando, worry. ando en la luna ahorita. He's going. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, guys. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello, Luis. Les envía a Luis porque me lo habían dejado por ahí perdido y solo. <laughs> no problem, teacher, no problem. Thank you, did, teacher. Did you finish? <laughs> yes. The three of you, los tres? Yes, two yeah. sentences for each one, right? Yes, okay, that's okay. cool. You are very effective, guys. <laughs> so, okay, we, now... We're now, a good team, teacher. Now practice because, Vladimir, you are going to report about one of your classmates, right? Okay. So you can organize that and how you're going to say it. We still have two minutes. So we have two minutes. Okay. Uh, Luis, he is going to wake up early and he is going to work. Daisy, she's going to work and she's. You are so quiet. Finish, ladies. Mm -mm. A meeting, what? <laughs> with. Sandra. With my Sandra. supervisor. Ah. With my supervisor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, Sandra, tell me. Memorandum en inglés y en español. Memo. Memo. You me, can just say memo. a memo. You can just say a memo. Okay. It's okay. Puede ser simplemente okay. memo. Okay. Actually, the word doesn't belong to any of them. La palabra es latina, no pertenece a ninguno de los dos. Ahora sí. En both languages got the same base y ambos lenguajes tienen parte de una base latina. Well, the English is a bastard language. El, el inglés es una lengua bastarda, actually. But the Spanish is it's a it's a romance, so it comes straight from Latin. El español es un romance bien directo de latín. But with English, some words are in, they come from Latin, some words come from French, some words fr come from Saxon, alguna vienen del Sajón. So it's complex because in English we got words from different languages, from German, aún del alemán. So in this case, Memo Sandra is the same. You finish, ladies? Yes. Okay. Remember, Sonia, you are going to report about one of them. Usted me va a contar de una de ellas. The same for you, Susana. You are sí. going to tell me about one of your classmates. So you still got one minute to, to decide, to organize. Decidan quién va a decir lo de quién. Okay. Okay. See you. Vamos a ver. Ready, guys? Hi, teacher. Ready? No, teacher. Hurry up, 60 seconds. Usted me va a contar lo de Walter, okay. Alfonso. Yes, uh, solo estoy cambiando uno, teacher. Nothing more. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Yes, yes. Um, vamos a ver. Uh, Walter, I, I will go to the clinic in the afternoon. Uh, 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 I am going. I am going. Ah, sorry, teacher. I am going to the clinic in the, the afternoon. Clinic. Okay, guys, we are just waiting for some of your classmates to come back. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see, almost everybody. Yes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and everybody's coming. Perfect. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Alfonso, tell me about Mr. Arana. What is he going to do tomorrow? What is he doing tomorrow morning or afternoon? Teacher, well, one moment, please. Okay. Solo necesito re, 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 eh, Check. Por, por, yes, eh, for, por error, borré ahí algo y lo estoy regresando. No problem, no problem, no problem. One, one moment, please. No problem. In this case, Arvin is going to start. Arvin. Hi. Tell me about one of your classmates, please. Okay. Uh, Edwin and Evelyn. Okay. Tell me about Edwin. Uh, yes, he is going at work in the night. Uh, number two, he is taking uh, classes with his down there. Daughter. Okay, perfect. Edwin, tell me about Evelyn. Hey, teacher. She is going meeting at tomorrow in the afternoon. Okay. And she is checking her email in the morning. Perfect. Evelyn, tell me about uh, Arvin. Arvin, uh, he is going to work tomorrow. As aquí hay una H de más. As every day. Uh, he is eating fried chicken for lunch. Okay, now. Thank you very much. Excellent pronunciation. Now the corrections. Edwin, he is going to work. Or you can say he is working at night. He is working at night. We don't say in the night, we say at night. The second sentence. La segunda oración. He is taking classes with his daughter. Perfect. With the Arvin, he is going work tomorrow as every day. He is working. He is working. Tomorrow as. Erase the H, please. Perfect. He's eating fried chicken for lunch. Okay. In the case of Evelyn's, she's meeting. Erase going. You don't need going. Meeting. Meet. Eh, la palabra meeting es un nombre, pero también es el verbo. Puede ser ambas cosas. Okay. Puede ser nombre o verbo. So we say, she's meeting tomorrow in the afternoon. Erase the at. The at is not necessary. Okay? No, 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 just erase it. Perfect. She's meeting tomorrow in the afternoon. She's, che she's checking her email in the morning. Perfect. Excellent. Well, job, guys. Buen trabajo. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Next one. I got Elizabeth. Elizabeth, tell me about one of your classmates, please. Um, Luis. Okay. Um, Vladimir. Tell me about Luis. one of them. Dígame de uno de ellos. Luis. Okay. He's going to wake up early. He's going to work. Okay, excellent. Luis, tell me about Vladimir, please. Mr. Luis. Perdón, perdón, tenía el micrófono apagado. No problem, no problem. Okay. He is going to attend a meeting. Okay. He's going to take a cup of coffee. Perfect. Excellent. Now, Vladimir, tell me about Elizabeth. Okay. She's going to work. She's going to cook at dinner. 
Okay, guys. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Now, uh, I'm just, I just need to make something clear. Quiero aclararles algo. When we use going to, eh, cuando utilizamos esa idea, lo que estamos diciendo es que una persona tiene la intención de hacer algo en un futuro algo cercano. ¿Ok? O cuando queremos decir de que algo va a ocurrir en un futuro, pero con mucha certeza, porque ya hay una evidencia, por eso les ponía yo el ejemplo. Les aclaro porque your sentences are excellent, Vladimir, and Luis and Lisa. Su oración está perfecta, pero me utilizaron una estructura diferente. Repítame sus dos oraciones, Vladimir, please. Las mías. Yeah, what you told me about the, lo que me dijo de la compañera. Okay, she's going to work. Okay. Uh, she's going to work. And she's going to cook a dinner. Okay, let me explain something. She's going to cook for dinner, sorry, sorry, for dinner. Okay. Para la cena. She's going to work tomorrow. Uh, Sorry. Okay. okay. Now look at the second, at this second sentence that I am placing here for you. She is working tomorrow. Vean estas dos oraciones. Okay. Now, when we say she's going to work tomorrow, what are we expressing? ¿Qué es lo que estamos expresando? Que va a trabajar mañana. Y cuando digo she's working tomorrow. Está trabajando, eh, está trabajando mañana, ¿no? Ok. Como estas expresiones no tienen una traducción exacta a nuestro idioma. And I'm sorry, that's why I am explaining in Spanish. Y discúlpenme, por eso se lo explico en español. Because it's a little bit confusing for us. Es un poquito confuso para nosotros que hablamos español. Es importante que entendamos. Cuando decíamos, she's going to work tomorrow, estamos diciendo de que ella tiene la intención de trabajar mañana. O, oh, me refiero a un futuro cercano. O, oh, lo uso para referirme a algo que va a suceder en el futuro, que, de lo cual yo tengo evidencia. Por eso les decía yo, ah, yo digo de que, Veo el cielo, está muy nublado. Estamos ya en los meses de lluvia. Se comienza a sentir la brisa fresca. Y veo relámpagos por todos lados. Yo digo, oh, it is going to rain. Va a llover. Cuando yo digo, va a llover. Cuando digo, ella va a trabajar. Estoy hablando de una intención de un futuro cercano. ¿Ok? Recuérdense, me estoy refiriendo a la intención de algo, a un futuro cercano o a algo de lo cual yo tengo una evidencia, hay una certeza. Yo digo, oh, it is going to rain, porque ya les expliqué las razones. It is cloudy, está nublado, windy, con mucho viento, fresh y un viento fresco. Entonces yo digo, oh, it is going to rain. Now, cuando yo digo, she is working tomorrow, in this case, I am expressing a plan. Estoy expresando un plan or an arrangement. Ok. Ok. She is going to work tomorrow in the report her boss asked from her. Ella va a trabajar mañana en el reporte que le pidió el jefe, por ejemplo. Ok. So, in this case, when I use this, I am talking about either about, estoy hablando 
or about the plan or either about an arrangement, ¿ok? Estoy hablando de un plan o de algo que ya está organizado, preparado. It's very important that we remember this. She's working tomorrow on the report. She's working tomorrow in her office, ¿ok? Like, so, uh, yes. Teacher, uh, excuse me. So what, what is the correct form to say it? It's just that both are correct. Ambas son correctas. Just that the exercise in this moment asks from you to tell me plans. El ejercicio plans and arrangements. Me dijera planes or arrangement. Ah, sorry. Pedí entonces okay. que me utilizara la estructura del uh, 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 present continuous. Okay, Entonces, sorry. Continuous. The problem, as I told you the other day, I was telling some of you, el otro día les decía a algunos de ustedes, English is easier to think than Spanish. El inglés es más fácil yes. para pensar que el español. Yes, it is, because it's more specific. Porque es más específico. Okay? Now, something that I'm trying to, to install in your mind, algo que sí estoy tratando de, de meter en sus mentes, is that when we talk about the tense, it's very important that we remember the structure. Muchas veces, si algunos de nosotros estudiamos inglés hace muchos años, los que ya tenemos nuestra cantidad de canas, recordaremos, perdón nuevamente que es el español, que se nos enfocaba mucho la estructura, ¿verdad? El tiempo progresivo, ok, sujeto, auxiliar, verbo en ING, complemento, y nos metía en la estructura y que armáramos oraciones con la estructura. It is very important. Es muy importante. But it is also very important that we understand when do we use the tense. Al igual que es de importante que entendamos cuándo se utiliza el tiempo. ¿Ok? Like when I use simple present. ¿Se recuerdan que hemos pasado casi seis semanas hablando presente simple? ¿Y cuándo utilizamos el presente simple? Ah, para hablar de rutinas, facts, habits. ¿Right? Y creo que eso ya nos quedó en piedra. Now. We are using present continuous now to, to, to express two different ideas. Estamos utilizando el presente continuo para expresar dos cosas. Something that is happening in the moment or, a lo que nos hemos enfocado este día, something, a plan, a future plan, or an arrangement. Okay? So, your sentences were okay, Vladimir. Just that with the structure you were using, you were expressing to me not a future plan or arrangement. Solo que sus oraciones gramaticalmente tenían la estructura correcta. Solo que Exacto. no me estaba expresando la idea que yo quería, sino que me estaba expresando la intención de hacer algo. Ok. Uh, my apologies for Luis because she, he told me that. My oh. apologies. No problem, no problem. I mean, that's the idea. To fix those little things right here. La idea es arreglarlo acá. And it's good because everybody, I mean, perhaps it wasn't that clear for everybody. Y es bueno porque quizás no estaba tan clarito para todos. I mean, when we get into grammar, sometimes it becomes like, mm, cuando nos metemos en la gramática, a veces nos metemos en líos. But we are going to apply it in more examples, and that's easier to understand. So vamos a poner en más ejemplos para que sea más fácil. But before that, I need some people here to continue. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sonia and Susana. Please, Sonia, tell me about Susana. Okay. Susana, she is going to the office in the morning. Okay. And she is going a meeting with legal department. Okay. She's going to a meeting. Uh -huh. Ah, to. Yes. To a meeting with legal department. Okay, perfect. Now, in this case, Notice, ellas están usando el verbo going, pero no la estructura be going to. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Porque después del going to no me le pusieron otro verbo. ¿Ok? She's going, simplemente lo que hicieron fue expresar. Ambas oraciones lo hicieron con el verbo ir, pero fue de desplazarse. Y eso es algo también que debemos de tener cuidado. Because we in Spanish, we use a lot nosotros, we Salvadorians, we use a lot. Utilizamos muchísimo el voy a. Mm -hmm. That's the way we express future. Porque Susana dijo, ah, yo voy a una reunión. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
But remember, in this case, Susana, you expressa to me, en este caso nos expresó a nosotros que usted se va a desplazar a una reunión. No que va a tener una reunión. Eso es otro tiempo verbal. ¿Ok? Que era lo que le explicaba a Vladimir. And it's a little bit confusing for us because, as I told you, es un poquito complicado para nosotros porque, como ya les dije, we use a lot the be going to. Utilizamos... Sí, ahí, ahí con eso, este, cuando yo les hice el de que yo las hacía las mías, era diferente, porque a mí me, presentándome yo decía, I am going to a meeting with department legal. Ocupaba dos, going y meeting. Y cuando decía, tomorrow I go into the office, I have many some stuff for doing. Ok, vaya, pero mira. Eh, lo pero que pasa, Susana, es ver si entendí. Entonces. Yes, tell me. Tell me, Sonia. Es que yo les oigo entrecortado, ¿me escucha? Yes. ¿Me escucha? Yes. Vale. Para... No le entiendo, pero si usted me escucha, entonces sería, o hubiese sido lo correcto, poner she... She's have to. She's having. having. O have. She's having a meeting. Ay, no leo. Pero. What about now? Can you hear me now? Es terrible. ¿Me escucha ahora? Sí. sí. Why don't you use the chat? No, 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 no. Right now you can hear me, right? En este momento. Okay, si yo no preguntaba oye. que si hubiese sido correcto. Sí, ahorita sí. Ok. Look, the difference is this. Hay una diferencia entre que Susana me diga, she's going. She's going to a meeting. Que me diga, she's going to have a meeting. ¿Ok? O es distinto que ella me diga, she's going to a meeting, a que me diga, she's going to meet. Ok. Ok, I'm going to, oh, we need to go back to this. Look, Susana. She tells me. I am going to a meeting. I am going to meet. Ambas oraciones están en futuro. En esta me dice, I'm going to meet uh, tomorrow. Para que esté en futuro tiene que estar. En esta me dice, I am going to a meeting. Voy a una reunión. Acá me dice, voy a reunirme. Ok. In the second one, está diciendo, voy a reunirme. Acá dice, voy a una reunión. Por eso le decía, si me dice, I am going to a meeting, me está diciendo que se va a desplazar a un lugar donde va a tener una reunión. En esta si me dice, I am going to meet, la acción es esta, voy a reunirme. Por esto es que acá es un nombre y acá está funcionando como un verbo. ¿Ok? Aquí dice, voy a una reunión. Acá dice, voy a reunirme. Después del tú, coloqué un verbo. No puedo decir, I'm going to meeting, porque después del tú no puedo poner un verbo en ING. Entonces acá este no es un verbo, es un nombre. Da la peculiaridad que esta palabra es ambas cosas. Puede ser nombre o verbo, y por eso se vuelve un poquito confuso. Ok. It's actually... What it makes it confusing is the verb by itself. Es el verbo en sí el que es un poquito confuso porque tiene ambas funciones. With the rest of verbs, it's not a problem because I am, I am playing soccer tomorrow. Okay? I am playing soccer tomorrow. I am going to play soccer tomorrow. Muy claro se entiende la diferencia, ¿verdad? I am playing, I am going to play. Right? 
when I say I am playing soccer tomorrow, oh, I have the team ready, tengo el equipo listo, I have my uh, all the stuff in my backpack, tengo ya todas las cosas en mi mochila, okay? If I say, hey, I am playing soccer tomorrow, yes. I am going to play soccer tomorrow, si digo, I am going to play soccer tomorrow, estoy expresando la intención de hacerlo, okay? It's like uh, when you go to the supermarket, como cuando vamos al supermercado, you are walking down the aisles. Usted está caminando por los pasillos. You are walking down the aisles, okay? And you are buying all the stuff from your list. Usted está tomando las cosas de su lista. And you pass by the... by the place where there's the yogurt. Y pasa por el lugar donde está el yogurt. There's no yogurt in your list. And you say, mm, I am going to bring, I am going to buy some yogurts too. Y usted dice, ah, voy a comprar unos yogurts también. The intention. Tiene la intención de hacerlo. Okay? No estaba planeado. It's not in your list. Okay, but... The other day I was talking to, to, to Evelyn. We were talking about commands. Con Evelyn hablábamos de los commands. Y le dice el esposo a Evelyn, Hey, look. I am passing by the supermarket. Do you need something? Él le dice, I am passing by the supermarket. Do you need something? Le dice él, Hey, voy para el super. ¿Quieres algo? Okay. Ya está el plan. Él ya lo tiene. Claro que va a pasar al supermercado. Y le pregunta a ella si necesita algo. Es different. ¿Ok? ¿Entendemos ahora la diferencia entre la intención y el plan? ¿Nos queda un poquito más claro? ¿Yes? Es de practicar. Sí, un poco, pero, pero... The problem is that we in Spanish, we don't use it that much. El problema es que nosotros no utilizamos esa estructura tanto. Mm, quizás no es que no la utilicemos. El problema es que nosotros nos acostumbramos, nos enseñaron a que si el verbo era y en era ando, en toda la vida. Y no es así. Porque cuando yo digo, hey, eh, hey guys, I am sending the PowerPoint presentation when the class finishes. Yo les digo, I am sending the PowerPoint presentation cuando, when the class finishes. No les estoy diciendo, les voy a enviar. Les estoy diciendo, les enviaré. Eso estoy diciendo. Estoy expresando futuro. ¿Ok? Un futuro planeado. Solo que estoy usando una estructura que para nosotros que nos enseñaron que el verbo era ando, endo, se nos vuelve complejo. Okay. So, in this case, as sometimes I have told you, in este caso, como les he dicho en algunas ocasiones, make an act of faith. Hagan un acto de fe. Just believe me. That's the way it works. Okay? Don't try to process it. Tratemos de no procesarlo, because if you try to process it, is when it becomes confusing. Cuando tratamos de procesarlo, que se nos vuelve confuso. Because it's a way of thinking that we don't use that much in Spanish. No es una manera de pensar que utilizamos mucho en español. But actually, that's, that's a correct way of thinking. In my case, for me, it's easy to understand it. En mi caso, es fácil entenderlo y aplicarlo. Of course, I've been speaking English for a long while. He hablado inglés por mucho tiempo. So, it's part of my way of thinking. Es parte de mi manera de pensar. It will become part of your way of thinking also. Y se va a volver parte de su manera de pensar. Yes, because like if I come and I ask, Hey, Susana, tell me, what are you preparing for lunch tomorrow? How to prepare lunch? What? What? Okay. What are you preparing for lunch tomorrow? I make... I, I, I am making. I am making potatoes. Potatoes. Cool. Ah, potatoes. Cool. With cheese. 
Excellent. Thank you. Perfect. She is making potatoes tomorrow for lunch. It's a future. It's planned. She got it already in her mind. Ya tiene las papas. Ya tiene queso. She's ready for that. It's already a plan. Okay? It's an arrangement. Right? Let's see. Sonia. When are you... When are you sending the report? Um, I'm sending report uh, in the afternoon. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Arvin. Hello, Arvin. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Arvin. Uh, are you going to the bank tomorrow? Um, I am not going to the bank tomorrow. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's see. Walter Arana. Hello, teacher. Are you going to the United States this year? Mm, I am not going, going to the United States. To the United States. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see, Alfonso. Hi, teacher. Tell me, are you working tomorrow morning? Yes, I work in tomorrow morning. Perfect. Thank you, Sandra. Hello. Hello, Sandra. Are you collecting tomorrow from your clients? Yes, I going. I am, I am I collecting. I am going collecting. Okay, listen, listen, Sandra. I am collecting tomorrow. I am collecting tomorrow. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. L let's see, Evelyn. Tell me, are you are you having any meeting tomorrow afternoon? Yes, I have. Yes, I am. Um, yes, I am. Um, having a meet, meeting. Ha, have a meeting okay. tomorrow. In this case, as I ask you a yes, no question, you can just tell me, yes, I am. Como le hice una pregunta que era una yes, no, le dije, are you having a meeting tomorrow? She can just tell me, yes, I am. And that's okay. You see, it's easy. Vieron que ya poniendo la práctica como que se vuelve más fácil, ¿verdad? It's like, let's see, Edwin. Yes, teacher. Are you working at night tomorrow? Yes, I'm working. The night shift. Night. The night. Uh, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> so that means that tomorrow in the morning you are resting. No. I'm not resting tomorrow. No, what? You got classes? Yeah. Okay, so you are going to be busy. If you see, <laughs> it's very simple. Si se fijan, es fácil. And when we practice it, we start thinking that way. Y cuando lo ponemos en práctica, comenzamos a pensar de esa manera. It doesn't make sense for you right now in Spanish. No trata de traducirlo, no va a tener sentido. But if you see, when we use it in English, it does. Sonia, open up your mic. Okay. Tell me, Sonia, uh, are, you, are you finishing painting this weekend? I'm not finished, Sería. No van a terminar este fin de semana. No. No. You are not. Are you continuing painting? No. Por lo menos yo no. No ah, sé. At no. least not me. Okay, perfect. Ah. Thank you very much. Ivania. Okay. Hello, Ivania. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Ivania. Uh, are you working on the platform tonight after class? No, teacher. Um... Uh-huh. <laughs> um, okay, you tell me. No, I am not. No, I'm not. 
I do it on Saturdays. On you on Saturday. I do it. I do it. Do it. Me está expresando una rutina. Ella lo hace los sábados. Simple present. I am. Um. I do it on Saturdays. Perfect. Thank you, Ivania. Okay. So if you see, when we apply it, it becomes easier. Cuando lo aplicamos, vuelve más fácil. Let's see, Vladimir. Hello. Tell me, Vladimir. Uh, are you taking your wife tomorrow to work? No, I'm not. Okay. Tell me, where are you going tomorrow? Uh, her nephew is her nephew is, is going to. In this case, is valid. Her nephew is going to take him. Uh, her nephew is taking her. Oh, perfect. Her nephew is taking her. It's a plan. Yes. Her nephew is taking her. El sobrino se la llevará. It's a plan. It's already set. Ya está hecho. Ya está armado, decimos nosotros. Okay? Simple. It's like, yes. let, it's like let's see. Let's see. Who else? Who else? ¿Quién me falta que me participe? Uh, 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 Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Elizabeth, are you working tomorrow afternoon? Um, I, going, I am going working in I am, afternoon. I am working. Or you can tell me, yes, I am. I am. Okay, perfect. Thank you, miss. So, if you notice, it's simple, but we need to apply it. Necesitamos realmente aplicarlo. It's like when I told Sonia, hey, Sonia, we are having a session tonight, a one-on-one -on -one session. We are having, okay? Sonia, are you staying for the one-on-one -on -one session? Uh, yes, I am. Perfect. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Now, let's see. Vladimir, tell me. Where, Hello. where, when are you taking your vacations this year? Oh, well, I am taking my vacation the last week of March. Oh, oh, they are close. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you very much. Now okay. let's see, Walter Arana. Hello, teacher. Tell me, where are you spending Easter this year? Where are you? I'm going to text you this question. Where are you spending Easter this year? Where are you? Oops, I'm sorry. I just sent to one person my bad. Must be like this. Where are you spending Easter this year? Mm. Spending significa gastar cuando es de dinero, pero cuando se trata de tiempo es pasar el, el tiempo. Okay? So, where are you spending Easter? ¿Dónde va a pasar el Semana Santa? This year. Um, spending? Thing. Yes. I am spending um, Armenia city. Okay. You can tell me I am going to Armenia. Podría decirme I am going to Armenia. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Let's see. What about you, Arvin? Are you having vacation for Easter? Um, I am not going, I am not vacation. I am not having vacation. I'm not, I am not having vacation. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Anyway, I'm yes, sorry. I'm working. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry for you. Let's see. Edwin. Yes, teacher. Tell me, what are you doing for Easter? 
Mm, um, my working. Okay. <laughs> I am working on I am working. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. What about you, Evelyn? Tell me, Evelyn, how many days, how many days are you, listen to this question, how many days are you resting for Easter? Two days. Two days. Okay, Ooh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's bad, that's bad. I, I get like seven, I'm not going to see it, so I get a long vacation, terrible. For me, it's horrible. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Thank so, you. Any question up to here, guys? Preguntas hasta acá, ahora sí le vamos entendiendo. Okay, I need to make something clear to you. Quiero aclararles algo. Eh, sir. Yes. For question for. Tell me, Alfonso. For question for confusion. Eh, vaya. Eh, en español lo voy a decir. Yes, tell me. Eh, usted nos dice que no lo tratemos de traducir porque nos vamos a confundir más. Yes, you are. Pero en el caso de que, eh, por así decirlo, yo entiendo una parte, pero hay frases que no las entiendo, palabras que no las entiendo. ¿Cómo hago en ese caso? When it's just words, look for the word. Cuando solamente es la palabra, busque la palabra. But when it's a whole idea, and I'm talking about this specific case, y me refiero a este caso específico, Alfonso, because it's, Es una manera de pensar que no es común para nosotros. Ok. I'll give you an example, Alfonso. Esto se lo van a encontrar como en tres ocasiones cuando estén viendo gramática. Hay una cosa que van a ver más adelante en intermedio, pre-intermedio, creo. Eh, that is kind of uh, weird for us, que para nosotros es un poquito extraño, porque no usamos esa manera. Le voy a poner el ejemplo. Ok, solo un ejemplo para que entienda de que eh, no hablamos así. Ok. Look at this sentence. Okay, look at this sentence. This sentence is, if you look, this is if, este es si de condición, but this is the main verb of the sentence. Aquí tengo el verbo principal de, la, de esta parte de la oración, when. The verb is in past, el verbo está en pasado. Okay, pero del momento que tiene el if antes, que tiene esta palabrita aquí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya no está en pasado. La idea que me está expresando es, si ella fuese a la fiesta, bailaría contigo. Pero nosotros no hablamos así. Correcto. We don't use it. Nosotros no hablamos de esa manera. But that's the way it is. And in English, you will find it all the time. Y en inglés se lo va a encontrar todo el tiempo. Entonces por eso me dice que mejor eh... yeah. It's better eh, like this Si se fija de esta manera que lo estamos aplicando Se está volviendo más mecánico para ustedes responder And that's actually what we need in this moment En este momento lo que ustedes necesitan es que su respuesta sea inmediata Que se cree el reflejo Ok Ok So Let's see Let's go back to Vámonos de nuevo Hey Mr. Lewis I have forgotten you. Luis Armando. Okay. Hello, Luis. Hello. Tell me, Luis, uh, are you working tomorrow morning? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
I was going to invite you. Lo iba a invitar, pero you are working, so I'm sorry for you, mister. Yes. Thank you. Let's see, Vladimir. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Vladimir, are you having lunch tomorrow at your workplace? Yes, I am. Uh, that's bad, that's bad, because I will be closed in a restaurant close to your workplace, but he's having lunch at his workplace, so. Ah, no problem. <laughs> I'm going with you. <laughs> okay, perfect. You see, I use context. Sonia, hello. Hello. Sonia, tell me, uh, are you having break time tomorrow? In the afternoon? No, Are you taking I'm a not. break time? Oh, that's bad. No. I wanted to invite you for a cup of coffee. Yo le invitar un café, but she's not having break time, so. And she doesn't no. drink coffee. Uh -huh. I yeah, I just remember. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hey, Edwin. Hey, teacher. Tell me. Are you going to the paintball place? This coming weekend? No, I'm not. Oh, man, I wanted to go. Yo quería ir. You see, I am using the sentences and I am putting them in a context. It's like, hey, Alfonso, uh, are you fixing machines tomorrow morning? Uh, <clears throat> uh. Answer teacher. Are you fixing machines tomorrow morning? Fixing? Arreglando. Oh, yes. Okay, so it's already planned. Are you doing are you doing maintenance tomorrow morning? Yes, teacher. Okay, look at the sentence. Are you doing maintenance? When I ask you, are you doing maintenance? Te estoy preguntando, ¿ya tienen planeado y organizado el mantenimiento de qué máquina van a dar mañana? Oh, okay. Because it's a plan. Are you doing maintenance tomorrow? Yes, I'm doing maintenance. Perfect, thank you. Let's see, Sonia, are you checking your email early in the morning? Repeat, please. Are you checking your email tomorrow morning? Yes, I am. The, I am checking email. Okay, perfect. Let's see, let's see. Vladimir. Hello. Are you reading the newspaper tomorrow? Yes, I am. I read the newspaper every day. Okay, in your case, you have to read the newspaper. I have to read the newspaper. <laughs> it's mandatory. Es una obligación. No, actually, he has. Realmente, él sí tiene que. He looks for information there. Okay, let's see. Let's see. If you noticed, I am using it to talk about plants. Hey, Sandra, where are you right now? In San Salvador or in Santana? In this uh, moment, yes, San Salvador. Okay, tell me, are you visiting Santa Ana this weekend? Yes, uh, visiting Santa Ana. Okay, thank you. She says, Yes, I am. Okay, yeah, I am. Thank you, perfect. Thank you, teacher. Guys, tell me. Up to now, dígame, ahora sí o todavía. Mm. El so -so, teacher. So -so? Okay. <laughs> okay, now let me explain something to you because I expanded a lot today in the grammar explanation. Hoy me expandí demasiado en la grammar explanation because I realized that it was a little bit confusing. Era un poquito confuso. Tomorrow we are going to advance with the manual. For tomorrow, we are going to work with pages. 
Mañana no va a trabajar pages. 29, 30, en page number 30, there's a little explanation. En la página 30 hay una pequeña explicación de la grammar. Very simple, muy simple. La van a entender fácilmente. Ok. There are, there's exercise 4 in page 30. You need to do it. Ok. Exercise 5 and 6, we are going to do it here. Ejercicio 6 y 7 lo vamos a hacer acá. But that's going to go fast. So, pages number 29 and 30, we are going to do it in the first part of the class. Página 29 y 30 la vamos a ver en la primera parte de la clase. So, tomorrow we are going to work more with the manual. ¿Ok? And I am going to bring more exercises so we can practice the use of the present continuous for future. Y le voy a traer más ejercicios para que practiquemos. ¿Ok? So, I am sorry if today it was too long the explanation, but we needed it. Me disculpan si este día fue larga la explicación, pero creo que era necesaria. So, no let's... Problem. No problem, teacher. Thank you. No, thanks to you for being so patient. Gracias a ustedes por tenerme paciencia. And it's good when you ask. It's better when you tell me I don't understand. Y prefiero cuando me dicen, no entiendo, because even if it takes me two hours to explain one topic, aunque me tome dos horas explicar un tema, but it's better if it's clear. Es mejor si nos queda claro, ¿ok? Ok. Hey, guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Yes, Alfonso. Fast. Tell me. Uh, I have a question. What is the difference and I have and I am? I have is yo tengo, I am is yo soy o yo estoy. Eh, entonces, eh, es que, bueno, vagamente. Eh, good night, everyone. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, let's see what happened to Sonia. She went away. waiting because she disconnected and she needs to connect again. Let's wait, because she's saying that she's coming. Perhaps it doesn't give her trouble. This topic was very, very interesting. And let's hope 
everybody understands them clearly because tomorrow we are going to focus on working on it a little bit more. Uh how -huh. uh how -huh. where did you go? I know. Hola. Hola. Can you hear me? Me oye? Ya. Yeah. Es que me salí de la otra porque yo ya no estaba escuchando nada y creí que el enlace era diferente. Yo aquí mejor no hago nada y mejor lo busco, pero no me había dado cuenta que era el mismo. Yeah, we stay. No problem, no problem. So tell me, Sonia. Was it clear for you today? ¿Cómo vamos con el tema? Um, así como más o menos le quería pedir que si nos enviaba, porque no, por lo menos no le he visto en el grupo, lo que estaba explicando en texto para ver la estructura y, y, y tal vez yo busco información. Lo que puso de la, las oraciones. ¿La PowerPoint? ¿O cuál, 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 cuál? No, cuando usted escribe. Oh. Cuando nos ponía los ejemplos que explicó que lo de Susana, que eh, eh, en una oración se decía la intención y en otra oración el plan. O sea, y usted escribió la forma, pero no, no nos la envió, creo, porque yo no la encuentro. Ok, si usted quiere entender la diferencia entre el be going to versus present continuous, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Por lo menos, en el, ajá, para checarlo. Porque no, como que me confundo de repente. Ok, let's see, let's see. Creo que lo perdí. No, 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 no. I am listening to you. I'm just trying to look for some ah. information that I can share with you. Estoy buscando algo que le pueda compartir. Mm. Ok, ok, this is. Que me ha fallado mucho ahora. Okay. I need you to copy this that I'm going to send you and paste it somewhere else. Necesito, no, pero es un enlace. Está, are you in the computer or in the cell phone? Computador. Okay. Save it. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly what you need, right? Es eso lo que realmente necesita, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? That's what, that's exactly what you're asking me, but, right? Es eso lo que me está preguntando, ¿verdad? Sí. The, the difference between the present continuous sí. and be going to. If you see it, it says both going to uh -huh. and present uh -huh. continuous are used to talk about future actions. Ambos se refieren a acciones futuras. And events that have some present. Uh -huh. So if we say that something is happening, si es que algo está sucediendo or going to happen, normalmente ya está decidido o planeado. Okay? We are going to uh -huh. get new windows. Vamos a obtener nuevas ventanas. We are, we uh -huh. are getting new windows. Tendremos nuevas ventanas. Both sentences express nearly the same idea. Es casi la misma idea. ¿Ok? Pero, si le entiendo, según lo que estábamos viendo, la manera correcta para responder al, al tema es la segunda. Yes. Present uh -huh. continuous. Lo que pasa es que si se fija, hay una aclaración ahí. Present continuous is common with verbs of movement. Comúnmente se utiliza con verbos de movimiento. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Y si se fija okay. más, luego nosotros decíamos que the present continuous is mainly used to talk about personal arrangements. El presente continuo se utiliza principalmente para hablar de arreglos personales o planes. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Ahora bien, cuando yo uso el be going to, expreso la misma idea, expreso planes futuros. Pero 
me enfatizo más en la intención de. ¿Ok? Como por ejemplo, me despiden. Uh. I am uh -huh. going to get a new job. Voy a obtener claro. un nuevo trabajo. Uh -huh. La intención, el deseo. ¿Right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, y usted me pregunta, hey, how did you do with your unemployment? Usted me dice, hey, ¿cómo le fue con esto del desempleo? Y yo le digo, oh, I am getting a new job in your company. Uh -huh. plan. Ya envié papeles, uh -huh. ya tengo todo listo, ya fui a entrevista, ya me dijeron que me presente. Oh, I am getting a new job in your company. Uh -huh. ¿Ve la, uh -huh. el cambio de idea? Uh -huh. En uno me enfaticé más a la intención, en el otro okay. me enfaticé más al plan, a las acciones tomadas. Uh -huh. Ok. Solo que, well, I am in the class, I cannot explain it quite that way because I will confuse them more. Voy a confundir a algunos de sus compañeros más si lo explico así. Uh -huh. Because, uh, I mean, it's... Um, It's different. Uh -huh. okay. So okay. that's why I, in the case of the class, I I try to do it more with examples, just with applying. Uh -huh. In your case, uh -huh. because you work better if you read and analyze. En el caso suyo, porque uh -huh. funciona mejor si lee y analiza, right? Exacto. So uh -huh. something. The, that information that you have, the one I gave you, the one you have in the manual, Check it out. Mm -hmm. Revisa. Mm -hmm. Analyze it. Sí. And if there's any question, si le surge una pregunta, just text me. Okay? And I will help you. Bueno. That way I can help you mm -hmm. like to understand. Now, is there any question about any of the previous topics? Hay preguntas con alguno de los temas anteriores or perhaps with a, something in English mm -hmm. that you need help with? No, no, eso es lo que más me confundía. Ah, y que ahora no le, cuando me preguntó que qué había hecho, no le dije, se me pasó por alto que había ido a, a hacer bicicleta el domingo. Entonces le quería preguntar si era correcto decir de it is a correct, me dijo, ¿verdad? To is say, it, eh, is it correct? on Sunday I also, it correct. To say, on Sunday, I also went. Yes. Bicycling. Yes. Vale. Ahora viene. Así debe ser. Yes. Y eso era algo que le he explicado a usted, pero que, a su, que quizás algunos de sus compañeros los estaba confundiendo. Cuando yo tengo el verbo go y le pongo otro verbo a la par, ¿puedo ponerlo? Uy, uy, traigo, no le hago. Okay. Se le corta otra vez. Ok, what about now? ¿Qué hay ahora? Can you hear me now? Sí, mejor. Ok. Cuando yo tengo el verbo. Mejor, sí. Cuando tengo el verbo go, después de él puedo poner un verbo en uh -huh. ing, pero el verbo se entiende en su forma simple. Porque uh -huh. usted me dice, este, yo fui a andar en bicicleta. Right? Uh -huh. So I went bicycling. Entonces sí es correcta la oración. Okay. Ah, ok. Aquí la había armado, pero como ya no le alcancé a decir, me quedó la duda. Por lo que da, por lo que habíamos estado hablando el otro día. Ay, qué terrible. What? Es que oigo como inter qué feo. Hoy no ha sido la, la mejor conexión. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's been like that. A todos nos pasó. Uh -huh. Ok, and only that. Ok, Sonia. If lo que voy have... a hacer es leer. Es que lo, que lo que yo necesito es leer para entender. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can understand you. I can understand you. Sí, le entiendo. Ok, if you have mm. any other doubt, if any, any, any other doubt arises, let me know. Si cualquier otra duda le surge, okay. let me know so I uh -huh. can help you. And now tell me, are you ready for more extra work? ¿Está lista para más trabajo extra? 
Sí, sí, me or, preparo, se me lo dije, tiene derecho. Me... Or are you busy? O está muy ocupada. Pues fíjese que probablemente mañana no lo voy a poder tocar, porque sí, mañana tengo que preparar el reporte en la mañana, enviarlo y por la tarde me voy a reunir con el equipo. Eh, y no, no estoy segura que vaya a poder, pero este, yo busco un tiempo en la semana, posiblemente miércoles, okay. para poderlo ver. And let me know. Uh -huh. Y me lo haces saber. So uh -huh. I will be like ready uh -huh. to, 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 to be there. I, I'll be expecting you. Estaré atento uh -huh. a. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Well, I don't know if there's anything else. Si hay algo más. No, con eso. Voy okay. a, lo voy a tratar de entender primero yo y luego si no, pues le pregunto. Perfect. That's just fine. Uh -huh. okay. ok. Thank you. Sonia, have a good night. Good night. Well, it was interesting. Now, let's see. We need to finish this session so the recording can start. See you tomorrow.